Good morning, first grade. We are going to learn some new words, get your paper and pencil out, and we'll start by reviewing the phonograms we need for these words. Our first one is awe that we do not use at the end of English words. What are you going to write? Good. Say it while you write it. If you don't remember, do a line below the baseline. Then after I write it, pause the video and write it and say it while you write it. This is awe that we do not use at the end of English words. All right, the next one is f. All right, write it, say it while you write it. All right, this is our All right, and that is all for today. Just these two phonograms. Okay. Our first word is aunt. What's the word? Good. Aunt. So aunt, an aunt is your mother or father's sister. Um, sometimes people pronounce this aunt. All right, to spell it though, we need to say aunt. What sounds do we hear in the word aunt? Good, aw, n, t. And we're going to use aw that we do not use at the end of English words. Which aw are we going to use? Good. Write aunt and say the sounds while you write them. All right, class, what do we need to write to spell aunt? Which awe? Good awe that we do not use at the end of English words. Good. Make sure yours looks like mine and then we can mark it. Does this need a marking? Good. We're going to underline our awe that we do not use at the end of English words. Nope. Mm -mm. All right. So this is one that people pronounce different ways. Like I said, to spell it, we need to say aunt. A lot of people pronounce this word ant, though. So if, um, if we pronounce it ant, then where would we put our thinking cap? Good, we would put it on our aw that we do not use at the end of English words. So to spell this, we need to say aunt. Some people, though, pronounce it ant. All right, our next word is uncle. What's the word? Good, so your uncle is your mother or your father's brother. All right, so uncle is a two-way word. To spell it right, we need to say uncle. How do we say uncle to spell it? Right, uncle. How many syllables are in uncle? Good, there are two syllables. All right, our first syllable is un. What sounds do we hear in the syllable un? Good, uh, n. You can go ahead and write that first syllable. Our second syllable is col. What sounds do we hear in the syllable col? Good, k, ol. Can that be a syllable by itself? No, what is it missing? Good, it doesn't have a vowel and every English syllable must have a vowel. So what are we going to add? Good, silent final E, job four. So go ahead and write that second syllable in uncle. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell uncle? Am I finished? No, we can never have a syllable without a vowel good. We need to add our silent final E job four in there. Make sure yours looks like mine and then we can mark it. Does this need a marking? Good, we need to double underline our silent final E job four. All right, so to spell this word, we say uncle. When we're speaking, it's uncle, uncle. 
So which phonogram is going to get our thinking cap? Good, we're going to put it on our knee. All right, so to, let's see. Oh, we better read our word. We didn't do that yet. Right, so to spell it, we say uncle. When we're speaking, though, we say uncle. All right, our next word is fast. What's the word? Good. I cannot run very fast. Fast. What sounds do we hear in the word fast? Good. Fast. Write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell fast? All right, nice. Let's mark it. Does it need a marking? Nope. So let's just say, or let's say our sounds and put them together. Good job. All right, our next word is here. What's the word? Good, here. I am here at school today, here. What sounds do we hear in the word here? Good, we hear e, r. This is at e. What's going to make it say e? Good, silent final E, job one. So what are we gonna to write to spell here? Good, go ahead and write those sounds and see them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell here? I hope your rrr is prettier than mine. Mine doesn't look that good. All right, let's mark it. Does this need a marking? Good, it's saying its name. We need to underline it. And we always underline our vowel or our consonant that's between our vowel and our silent final E job one. And good, we double underline our silent final E job one. Let's say our sounds and put them together. All right, our next word is there. What's the word? Good. I left my bag over there, there. So to spell there, we're going to say there. All right, there is a two-way word. How are we going to say to spell it? Good, there. What sounds do we hear in the word there? Good, the sounds we hear are l, e, r. But this is at e. What's going to make it say e? Good, silent final e, job one. So what are we going to write to spell there? Good, write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell there? All right, make sure yours looks like mine and then we'll mark it. Does this need a marking? But we're gonna underline it. Need both those letters. What are the two sounds of this phonogram? Good, and it's saying th, so it's saying its second sound. Does this need a marking? And it's saying its name about this. And Good, double underline our silent final E, job one. All right. Does, um, let's see, now we'll say our sounds and put them together. All right, so to spell this, we say there. When we're speaking, we say there. All right, so which phonogram is going to get my thinking cap? Good, it's our at E. All right, our last word for today 
we're going to spell the month that we just finished up. And that month is April. What's our next word? Good, April. But April is a two-way word. To spell it, we have to say April. How do we say April to spell it? Good, April. How many syllables are in April? Show me. Good, there are two syllables. All right, now before we write it, April, just like all of our other months, are proper nouns. That means we're going to start with what kind of letter? Good, we're going to start with a capital letter. All right, so our first syllable is in April is A, all right? And we're going to use a a a. Now what lets our a a a say A in April? Good, A, E, O, and U usually say A, E, O, U, or U at the end of a syllable. Or we can say it's an open syllable. So let's just write that first syllable, make sure you write a capital A. All right, our second syllable is prill. What's our second syllable? Good, what sounds do we hear in the syllable prill? Good, it's p, r, e, o. Go ahead and write that second syllable in April. All right, class, tell me what I need to write to spell April. All right, and what kind of A do I need to use? Good, I need to use a capital A because all of our months are proper nouns. All right, make sure your April looks like mine and we can mark it. Does this need a marking? Good, we need to underline it and saying its name because it's in an open syllable or at the end of a syllable. Does this need a marking? No. All right, let's say our sounds and put them together. All right, so to spell this month, we say April. When we're speaking, we say April. So which phonogram is going to get our thinking cap? Good, it's our IE. Okay, so let's go back and review our two-way words. How do we say this word to spell it? Good, we say aunt. And you can say aunt when you're speaking, but some people say aunt. Okay, how do we say this word to spell it? Good, uncle, uncle. When we're speaking, what do we say? Uncle. All right. How do we say this word to spell it? Good, we say there. How do we say it when we're speaking? Right, we say there. And how do we say this word to spell it? Good, April. But when we're speaking, what do we say? Good, April. All right, nice job, class. I'll see you next time.